Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making something called uh, raspberry scones or scones. Um, these are a favourite of uh, one of my nieces and I'm in Canada and she's in Canada so that's why I'm making them. Um, so uh, I'm in my sister's kitchen actually and what I'm going to do is to start off with the food processor but that's only for mixing the flour and with the butter it's much easier than cu cutting it in uh, by hand and then I do everything else by hand so for the ingredients I have 260 grams of plain flour a teaspoon of baking powder half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt and I'm going to put those into the baking powder into the flour straight away and then I'm just going to give those a bit of a stir to get it combined a little bit. I also have uh, 65 grams of uh, ice cold butter, 65 grams of uh, granulated sugar, 100 grams of raspberries, these are fresh raspberries but you could use frozen, and I have um, 180 millilitres of buttermilk. Now for my buttermilk I've simply used 180 millilitres of milk and put in three quarters of a tablespoon of lemon juice and left it for uh, five to ten minutes so that the lemon juice starts to react with the milk. So the first thing to do is to put the flour into our food processor and then put the butter in on top and we're going to process this, process this until it's a sort of coarse breadcrumb texture and that's all we need uh, with the processor. And that's almost done, but I'm going to give it a few more pulses. So that's a nice coarse texture. It doesn't matter if there are a few uh, bigger lumps in. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty that out into a bowl. And into that I'm going to put the sugar and give that a good mix round. Now you could mix the sugar in with the flour and the, the butter, that would be fine. And then I'm just going to pour the strawberry, the raspberries in and just toss those around a little bit. Now some of these will break up, they may all break up a little bit, but that doesn't matter. And then into that I'm going to pour our buttermilk. I'm not going to put all of it in at first. We want to see how much we need. We just stir that around till it starts to come together. Now I have my oven preheating at uh, 300, uh, 200 Celsius, 180 Celsius with a fan, 400 Fahrenheit. And I have a baking tray which is lined with, in my case, a silicon mat, but parchment paper would be fine.
And as that begins to come together, you may need to get your hands in to pull it together. You want to mix it until um, it clumps together. So I'm going to tip this out onto this floured surface. Just toss it in the flour so that it's workable. Like that. And then press it down until you have about a seven inch circle. When you have roughly a seven inch circle, you can cut it. I'm going to make eight, so I'm going to cut this like that. So having cut them, I'm just going to put some flour on the, my cutter because I now need to lift them and it's still quite sticky. So you lift one up and put it onto the tray. And then having put them on the tray, I have a, a couple of different sizes, it doesn't matter. I'm simply going to brush them with a little bit of egg, or in my case, this is the remainder of the buttermilk that I didn't need. That should allow them to go nice and golden on top. And then we're going to bake them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And then we'll take them out and let them cool down. Then I'll come back and I'll show you the results. Okay, well I'm back with you now and uh, our raspberry scones have cooked and I've been joined by my sister Margaret, whose kitchen this is, and uh, she insisted that she be allowed to taste them. Well, hello everybody. I'm sure that's a familiar phrase to you all. Here I am in my kitchen in Canada being the taste tester for raspberry scones that my daughter loves. So I'll choose one and I'll choose this one. Shall I break it open, Jeffrey? Yeah. Oh, yes. Smell delicious. You have that little bit. I'm just going to hold that. I prefer mine with butter. Up to the camera a little bit so you can see. Texture's very good. Mmm. That raspberry gives it a bit of a, a zing to the sweetness, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, they were a hit. Geoffrey will finish his off and I'll have mine with a cup of tea and perhaps a little bit of butter. But I do have some cream in the fridge. 
Did you carry on talking? <laughs> I'm talking too much to the camera, but I just wanted the world. <laughs> <laughs> It just wanted the world to see me, and I'm a little bit older than Jeffrey, but it wouldn't you would it wouldn't notice. You wouldn't show. So very very good. They are nice, and the nice sharpness of the raspberry mm. and the the scones are light, aren't they? I say scones. So uh, we've made these. I have to say, uh, for the Lady Caroline of Nepean. So. She'll be receiving the rest of them tomorrow. Tomorrow, and the thing is, they're really best on the day they're made. But you can refresh them just by warming them up in the oven. Uh, so she will enjoy them, I'm sure. Quite delicious, Jeffrey. No, um, really, I'm, I'm serious. They really are very nice. And I will be back with you with another recipe in the very near future, or maybe Margaret will be back with you making one of her recipes. Possibly not, but. Bye bye everybody. See you and, soon. Um, see you soon. Oh, don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Yeah. Thumbs click, down if you don't. <laughs> and click to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, in the top right hand corner of the screen, there will be an eye that you can click on to get the recipe from my blog. And do, we will no, see really you do again try soon. them. They're very very good. I'll be making them again. And that's it from us. Bye.